Well, I rolled these two together and I'm pretty happy with the fitment. I left them a little big with a line on, on purpose, so that I go through and trim a little bit off if I had to. All right, I wanted to show how I brought this frame together. I tried using angle iron in the top and the bottom and then on both sides, but it just didn't really work out. The frames aren't perfectly straight. There's some bends in them right here. Um, but anyways, I use a chain and binder to close the gap here. This, this back section was just a little bit wider than the front section. So I pulled that together, got that lined up perfect. And then what I'm aiming for is this hole right here. Both frames have half of that hole. So I use this to align it, and then I use my tape measure to square it up. And I've got, you know, every clamp known to man. Went to the old Harbor Freight today and bought some more C-clamps. But this is what I did to get it square. I'm pretty happy with that. So... I'm gonna get the welder out and I'm gonna tack it, you know, in some key spots and then I'll grind it out some more and then keep welding it. So I'll show you guys after we get the tacks on there, I'll stay taking the clamps off. Get a couple on the inside too. So I'm gonna pull these clamps off. All right, so I went ahead and did the other side too. See how nice that lines up. Got a couple tacks on the outside. There's a couple on the inside, so I'll clean this up real good. Clean that up good and then weld her in, I guess. And then what I'll probably do is cut out some uh, 3 16 plate, eighth inch or 3 16 I'm not sure. And then I'll make a diamond on the inside. It'll overlap, it'll go like this. So I'll weld it from front side and the back side and then I'll fish plate it right here. I'll do that from the inside so you don't see it on the outside of the frame. Let's see if my tacks are strong enough to keep the frame where it should be. She's nice and loose. I gotta clean up. This part I hate. Working outside, you get all this mess, you gotta take it in and out every day. I need to get my garages cleaned out so I can actually work inside of them instead of just store stuff. But I'm happy with the progress on this truck. Should be pretty nice little four wheel drive, four cylinder Ranger when I'm done. All right, so we're gonna finish welding up this Ranger frame. We'll give you a quick look at it before we start. We're gonna use the uh, 
Miller 252 here. It's got the 75, 25 gas and they're just using 3-0 wire. I'm gonna start with this one. So on these here, I turned my wire speed down quite a bit, kept my voltage the same so I could travel uphill. So now we'll uh, clean up the inside a little bit and we'll go ahead and weld that. All right, we got this frame all cleaned up, all ground off, nice and shiny. Same way on the inside. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these triangles, I got two of them, and we're gonna put them up inside the frame like that. So that'll distribute any stress on the frame across the broader area and it'll make a stronger frame overall to keep it from cracking if it ever were to start cracking. Really uh, helps dissipate the load and the stress. So we'll go ahead and we'll get those C clamped down. We'll tack them in on both sides and we'll weld them in. Turn my wire speed down a little bit. I think we're a little bit too tall on the bead profile. Well, it's not the best welds in the world, but I'm happy with it. You can see a diamond on the other side, so I got some good penetration. Let's do the other side. All right, we finally finished this frame. Uh, we started it before winter, and now here it is in May. Um, but now we can start putting the Ranger back together. We did get uh, the frame completely welded in. We put the diamonds on the inside of the C-channel and we got those all welded up. Once we um, show you this, I'll probably get some paint, throw some paint on it. And I welded in the holes too from the back side. So 
that should be pretty strong. You can't really tell from the outside that that was ever cut in half. And here's the other side. We welded those in. Yeah, we're happy with that. Now we can start putting the body back together. Put the engine back in. And hopefully we, we'll have a running driving Ranger here in a couple weeks. Thought I'd take a quick little video here of this Ranger that we cut in half. And then the other one over here that we cut in half. So we took uh, the rear section of this frame, which is now this frame, because it was nice and clean, didn't have any rot holes in it. Fortunately, this one was a four-wheel drive frame. It had a bunch of holes in this area. You can kind of see them right where my finger is. And then the shock mount over here, right here, was starting to kind of blow up too. So cut these frames in half, welded them back together. I got some paint on it. Just some old rattle can Rust-Oleum. We cut that frame. Put a little fish plate inside on both sides. So we'll be starting to throw the body back on this truck. Here's the bed for it. Cab's way back there behind the tree. But instead of trying to repair the frame, it was original back here, this back section, I just thought, well, let's go ahead and cut it in half. It'll probably save me a lot of time. And it really probably did. So now I do have to swap this back axle and these leaf springs and these wheels and tires. Well, this is the old frame here. You can see how we cut it. And then this was the whole reason. This is rotted out. It was just so thin. This whole area over here is just paper thin. If you hit it hard enough with a hammer, it would just break. I was going to repair that, I started cutting it out, but I said F it. We are going to frame swap, half frame swap the thing. And here too, it's rust jack pretty bad. Can't really see it, but right here it's actually burst through and this whole thing is kind of concave out towards the camera. My rust is pushing right through there. The reason it's doing that. You can see it just, the inside of the shock tower is just full a rust and it just gathers in there and then pushes and swells against the frame until it pops and bursts yeah but just thought I'd give you a quick little finished project of the um, cutting the frame in half and putting it back together turned out nice all the measurements are good diagonally from this corner up and then from this corner back are all square the lengths from here up to here are square, and then from here back are square. Even the height of the frame from here down to the concrete, and then on that side too are all the same. And then we've got the height that's the same from here to the concrete, and then the same on the other side. This Ranger's got the 2.3 liter it is four-wheel drive, it's got the five-speed manual, and the uh, transfer case is manual as well, which is pretty cool. Wrong welding helmet. That was my grinding helmet. I just about blinded myself. But like always, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, it keeps me hitting that record button. If you guys have questions or want to make a comment, something I did right or did wrong, I'm all ears. So again, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon.